This is the weapon a 14 year old boy was carrying as he walked into Fremont High School Thursday afternoon. So quite obviously just looking at the color, um, the shape, the design, I think anyone who saw this would think this is a real gun. Turns out it's just a BB gun, but it triggered a very real response. The officers responded uh, quickly. They responded uh, with their gear, with their uh, weapons, helmets, and uh, vests, and they prepared for an active shooter. Law enforcement from four different agencies surrounded the school. One of the social media reports very early said active shooter with injuries. Uh, one of the reports said students being carried out on gurneys to ambulances. Just absolutely not true. Chief Elliott and the superintendent, who both came under fire for not releasing information sooner, said they were actively trying to figure out what was happening. I know a lot of people wanted that information right away. We couldn't give it to them because we didn't know what was going on ourselves. We didn't suddenly want mass hysteria. We already had a, a big enough situation going on uh, with enough concern within the community uh, that we really wanted to make sure that uh, we were not creating more of a problem. It took about two hours to clear the school and arrest the teen. We'd never been through anything like this before, and uh, uh, I think we did about as well as we could have hoped to. And the district had this reminder for students. If you see something, say something. If you know something, tell someone. And that's exactly what occurred. In Fremont, Naya Gonzalez, KETV Newswatch 7. Authorities are holding the student at a detention center in Madison, Nebraska. He's being charged with a felony for terroristic threats.